Right, this is uh, day eight now. It's now the 30th uh, July. It's na uh, Sunday and it's just gone half nine. I've just left the campsite. Which, if you can see the house on the hill up there, right on the top of the hill, that's the farmhouse. Uh, none. Oh, crikey, I ought to, I ought to uh, remember these things. I can't remember the name, I'll tell you the name later. But it's quite a nice uh, farm campsite. Um, quite basic uh, facilities, but uh, very nice, a nice uh, cooked breakfast in the morning. Uh, very reasonable, so not bad at all. Now today, the weather is actually looking quite nice. Um, today I'm walking through Richmond, uh, and I was planning to stay just outside the other side of Richmond in uh, Colburn, I think it's called, um, which would, makes this the uh, nine mile day. Now I'm not sure, again, whether I might uh, extend it, because I, I was planning to extend yesterday's walk, but in the end I decided against it. Um, but depending on what time I get outside to a cold button, I might extend it um, this to a longer day, depending on the terrain and the weather and everything. Uh, so we have to see how we go. Right, let's get on. Right, the time's just gone half twelve. I'm just leaving Richmond now. I'm just by the by the river here. Um, I made a stop in uh, Richmond because that's where my car's parked. Um, so I walked to my car to. Uh, resupply and dump some stuff off that I don't need anymore. Um, that's taken about 25 minutes, half an hour to do that, to uh, go off trail, get to my car, sort myself out and get back on trail again, so that's not too bad. Um, I dumped out my uh, stove and pot, don't need that anymore because I won't be doing any uh, cooking. Because uh, everywhere I'm stopping now, it's either pubs and that, where I, they do breakfast in the morning and of course you can have an evening meal. Uh, well, I just got oat bars and stuff, so so I don't need to do any cooking. So I've got rid of all that. Uh, my food bag now only consists of oat bars or cereal bars, that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping to push on a bit further. So I was going to stop at Colburn today. I think today might be a good day to do my uh, two days in one thing because uh, I might go on to Danby Whisk now. I wasn't planning on stopping there at all anyway, but I know there's a pub that does camping. So, uh, because the weather's nice, and because I, well, getting to Richmond, it was quite flat and easy. Um, so I made good time there, I reckon. And I think it's quite flat going to Danby Whisk as well. So hopefully I should make good time. Right, let's crack on. I'm in Colburn at the moment. This is the uh, pub where I was planning on staying tonight. Um, but the time has only just gone quarter past three, so uh, I think I'll carry on by this. Uh, sorry, so the time's only quarter past one. Uh, there's plenty more time, so I'm going to carry on to uh, Danby Whisk uh, and camp with, with the pub there. So that should put me about half a day ahead of my, uh, my plans. But I think it's better to be uh, half a day ahead than on schedule because uh, you don't know what the weather's going to do. Uh, yeah, this was going to, from my uh, campsite, this was only a nine miles to here, so I think I'm going to make it more like 20, 21 miles, and um, 21, 21 miles, and uh, uh, push it out today, because the weather's quite nice. Every now and again we get a shower, but other than that, it's quite nice. Uh, well, I'm going to have to put my phone away now to see which way it is, because I'm not sure if it's, I think it's down that way, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Right, I'm about a mile and a half from Colburn Village, where uh, I was planning on staying in that pub. Um, and <laughs> this is what I didn't want to see. So I don't know if you, if I'm actually pointing this in the right way. In case I wasn't pointing out the right way, the path's closed. Um, due, due to uh, diversion, due to widening of the A1 widening of a road so I've got a detour don't know how long this detour is going to take I've got to take a it says here to take a photo of the sign so you know because it's directing you which way to go so I'm going to have to do that but no doubt this is going to add a add a few uh, a little bit, bit of distance onto my uh, my day right not to worry right let's crack on Yeah, it's just coming up to uh, 20 past two. I've just uh, finished the, uh, the diversion. There's a lot of roadworks there. 
you can see what they're doing to the, uh, the A1. Um, yeah, and went over the temporary, well, I don't know if it's temporary, the uh, pedestrian uh, cycle bridge. So, uh, yeah, I can't remember what time it was when I was at the uh, footpath close time, but uh, yeah, that's having a, a little, little, uh, little, I don't know if it's a mile or so onto my, uh, onto my route. I'll work that out when I get home how much uh, that's put me back, but I didn't really need that on the, um, you know, added on to a, a long day anyway. I didn't need a, a footpath close sign, but not to worry. Let's push on now. Right, well, it's now, um, what time is it now? It's now quarter past three. Uh, I think I've still got probably about another three hours to go of walking. Uh, it's not a lot of fun they like today. This is sort of where I'm having at the moment. The last time it ran, it had a little bit of rain was uh, just as I was going into Richmond. Um, that's the last bit of rain I've had ever since then. It's been like this. So uh, I'm glad I got my hat on. Uh, this, since um, the farm campsite that I've, I've, I left this morning, the path's been quite good. Uh, reasonably flat. I mean, there have been some up and downs, yeah, but it's reasonably flat, or even on the roads, or little lanes, or whatever. Of course, like now, going, there's been a lot of going through um, farmers' fields. Like I am at the moment, there's a, there's a pretty warm track all around the outside of it. So it's quite easy to uh, keep up a relatively good walking pace. It's not all the stop and starts like I was uh, when I was up by the nine standards. That was terrible up there. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to do that again up there. Uh, so, uh, no, I'm making good time. Uh, I'm glad I dumped back my uh, cook pot and that. Uh, because it, it was a little bit weighty, I mean it probably wasn't that much, but you add it all up, this probably would be about 400 grams there, something like that. And every little bit does help. Uh, so my pack now, oh, if you can see it there. That's the, uh, that's the size of my pack. Um, a lot of people that I've bumped into on the, on the trail, don't realise I'm backpacking it. They think I'm a. They think I'm a day, a day walker. Oh. Right. Getting better. Dealing with cows. If like me, uh, before I started this, I don't particularly like going into fields with cows because you never quite know what they're going to do. Um, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at just ignoring them um, because they seem to ignore me. Right. Let's go on then, crack on. Well, I've been doing a bit of road walking for quite a while now, and uh, it's quite nice when you see a sign that says uh, Stanley Whisk, four miles. So I know I've only got more, four more miles to go, but I've got more road work, uh, walking to do. Right, let's go. Right, earlier I had a detour because of a footpath closed, and I, it, today is the uh, 30th, but I'm one day, look at that, just before the road being closed. So I must be about, I don't know, three, three and a half, three and a half, say, miles out of Danby Whisk now, down this road. So this road will be closed to us from tomorrow. That was a bit of luck. I also would have had another diversion. Right, right let's try and show you uh, what happened today. I started here, Nun Coal Nook Farm campsite. Yep, highly recommend it. Basic services, but uh, facilities, but um, nice people, nice cooked uh, breakfast, lovely. So started there, all the way along here, all the way up along. All the way along. It's a nice easy walk into uh, Richmond. Into Richmond. When I was in Richmond, I um, resupplied from my car. I'm not exactly going to point. I'm not going to point out where my car was parked because um, that's where the Sherpa bus um, company used to um, put customers' cars and stuff. So I'm not going to uh, publicise where there are cars left empty for about 12 days. So resupply from my car and carried on. 
all the way down here, all the way around Colburn Hall. That's the pub there where I was going to um, stay the night, but that's only nine miles on from where I st uh, camped this morning. Um, so I was feeling good, the weather was nice, so I thought I'd carry on. So, and I'm glad I did now. Carried on along here, and when I got to there, that's where the, uh, that, that path is closed because they're doing roadworks on the, um, the A1 there, doing roadworks there, so that path was closed there. Um, so I had a diversion to come along here, I had to walk along here, and I think they've put another roundabout in it here somewhere. Uh, was it back here somewhere? They put another roundabout in because I ended up crossing on, an, on a pedestrian bridge around here somewhere and came out just as that side of the, um, the, the track and I had to walk down, crossed over on the new, new bridge, walked along that road, along that road, to the roundabout, over the bridge and then I rejoined again. So, I don't know, it certainly took me a little bit longer but not, not a great deal. And then along the bank there, all the way down here, all the way down. It's pretty flat really. There's a lot of road walking in, in this section, but um, it was pretty flat. Along here, all the way along. And this is where I am now, Danby Wise. I'm in the pub, uh, beer garden sort of thing at the back. Uh, seems quite reasonable so far. I'm about to go in in 20 minutes, have something to eat and a pint. Um, I'm just trying to work out how far I'll go tomorrow now. Um, I can either do another 20 mile, uh, or it's about or it's a 9 mile, but I, I don't want to do a 9, I'll probably do another 20. There we go, right, that's it for now.